Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Yoruba actress Jayola Kuti stressed that Yoruba actress Lizanjorin is pregnant. And a woman begs Lizanjorin to please marry her brother, even though Lizanjorin just recently got married to Mr. Lawal. It was in the news recently that Lizanjorin was pregnant. However, she did not confirm this news. Then she posted something on her social media. I said, Biko, which sign go show me? Say, I don't get belay. Pupu, I know pupu. Wee oui, wee, oui, I know wee oui, wee. Oui. Vomit, I know vomit. Paka paka, I know do. That pimple is now stress. Now you know me anything. Me, where I they look for Christmas clothes money? Now you won't get belay. However, a veteran you back to Jayo Lamonji dropped a comment on Liz Anjori's post and said, Oti lo you jaw. However, Liz Anjori replied Jayo and said, Ha, you let it real new sister me. Me obi. New the tutor. Lizanje had earlier shared an interesting post where she was asking people for signs of pregnancy. Meanwhile, another news. Lizanje showed a screenshot of her Facebook page and said, A friend sent her this and said, Your boy is lucky. See the views. She got like 1.1 million views and 1.4 million views on her videos on Facebook. And Lizanjari said, I said this could be me and your brother or uncle. But Lizzie Onik Beraga left fellow Mary. Is on a national anthem, bad mouthing no the less on a see potential in hard working ladies. She also continued and said the lady said that she should come and marry her brother and help her brother push his business like this. Well, Lizzie says she does not know how to tell Mr. Lawal that her friend's brother now wants to marry her. Also, on another news of people who are saying that they are being oppressed on social media platform. Lizandrin had this to say. The only thing that can give you unrest and sadness on social media is inborn thief, jealousy, laziness, greediness, and evil. If you can't envy death, do not envy materialistic things on or off social media. Even as the twins, success and death time is different. Think twice before you get BP. Or before you nurture deadly evil thoughts, thinking some people are oppressing you. These are the things you need to consider. Number one, your age. Number two, your status. Number three, your educational background. Number four, your family background. Number five, your friends and family circle. Number six, what you do for a living. Number seven, your parents' status. Number eight, your marital status. Number nine, number of children that you have. Number ten, your history. Number 11, your level of commitment, focus, seriousness, endurance, perseverance on things you lay your hands on, and so on. It was just four months ago that Lizandra got married to her lover 14 years, and she shared the official photos and videos from this event. They had the Nikai, the church, and also the cut's wedding ceremony. Hours before Lizandra shared the news, there were clips on the ceremony that had surfaced on social media, but many people were not sure. If this was from a movie scene, confirming that indeed she exchanged marital vows with a man, this movie star shared a photo and video with her fans. One of the photos captured Lisandre and her husband as they wrapped them around each other. And Lisandre in her caption disclosed that it took 14 years of dating before they tied the knot. She had then she then appreciated her partner for sticking with her all through those years. This was what she wrote. 14 years with no flaws, saying yes is like paying back 1% of your 1,001 good deed to me. I'm my late mother, my father, my brother, my comforter, my gist partner, my paddy, my labaro, my husband. None of the good deed you gave me spread to third party or the internet to tomorrow, but I thank myself for keeping the promise. This was what she wrote. In a different video, this lovely actress was seen dressed up in a traditional wedding attire as friends and families surrounded her. The movie star in a caption then thanked everyone who took out their time to congratulate her upon hearing the news of her marriage. Lizandre also, right after her wedding, had an interview where she revealed that some people mix up her personality with a business and personal life. With her business and personal life. And she said there's a difference to this. When it comes to her personal life, she does not make it all public. She always likes a private life. People think that she shouts and show off, but she does not do that. This was what she said. And in our words, I just do my business. I have a daughter, but I don't display on social media. I also notice that people mock me lots, but I always want to show them that God lives. Also, the excited group told Sunday School that 
Liz is very respectful, pleasant, and a good cook. And in his words, I don't want to boast so much about her virtue so people wouldn't take her away from me. I would also score her 100% on the level of perseverance and endurance. And on why it took them 14 years to get married. This Andrew said that it took us this long because I had told my late mother that I wanted to make some money first because I didn't have what it took to become a wife. My husband respected my opinion and told me that he would always be there for me. Now, Miss Lika, what? We have done all that is necessary. If my mother were alive, she would have been the happiest person on earth because my husband is a godson. He was the only man that she endorsed. And also in that interview, Liz Andrew stressed that she is with her best friend. You know what? I'm happy because I'm with my best friend. I don't even feel as if I'm just getting married. I feel that I signed a life contract with my best friend. He's my helper. He didn't allow me to take poison 14 years ago and he stopped me from committing suicide. I'm glad he turned out well between us because he's behind my success story. People mocked him but he stood by me through thick and thin. A lot of people didn't see my wedding coming, but it's better to leave people guessing about what. I know why they had a quiet wedding ceremony. She had this to say, we had a quiet wedding because of COVID-19. They are laughing over your Obale, media the DM would have been present if not for the coronavirus pandemic. Her laughing has blessed me and my hobby. Even if there was no COVID-19, my wedding would have still been in Nigeria. I've been my husband for 14 years and a lot of media personalities know about our relationship. I had issues some years back and he was there for me. He was my cushion in the days of turbulence and crisis. Constantly reminds me that he wants nothing from me but my success. This was us reviewed. That day, Liz Anjari couldn't contain her joy. And yes, she said the wedding would have been bigger. But because of the realities of COVID-19, they had to be cautious. Liz Anjari is an award-winning actress. And she has won some awards. She backed this following awards. Young Achievers Awards 2012 Best Actress, City People Entertainment Awards 2014 Yoruba Movie Personality of the Year, City People Entertainment Awards 2017 Special Recognition Awards, and City People Entertainment Awards 2017 Female Yoruba Movie Personality of the Year. Apart from being an actress, she's also a movie producer and she has worked on films like Tolani Barada, Go Diawa Buke, Kofotinobu, Kofo the First Lady, and Owo Narabet, among others. Also, Liz Adrian has starred in several movies, including The Dance Movie Project 2016, Owo Mumi 2010, Ariwa Ejo 2009, Isho Nishe 2009, among others. We have come to the end of this episode where a veteran Yuba actress who goes by the name Jayola Kuti, Jayola Monji, strikes that Liz Adrian is pregnant. And the woman also begs Lizzie Andrew to please come and marry her brother and leave her current husband. We have come to the end of this episode. We hope you enjoyed it and learned one or two new things. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.